guys, welcome to another episode of Code with Chris. What I realized with our old series, How to Build an iPhone App, is that when we got to episode 5, I started jumping into code and Xcode, and you guys might not have necessarily been comfortable with that. So I'm going to start a new series about Xcode and how to navigate around it, how to use it, and you know all you could ever want to know about it. For this particular episode, we're going to talk about very simply, where can you get Xcode? And then we'll move on from there. All right, the easiest way to download Xcode is actually through the Mac App Store on your Mac. So if you go to the App Store right here and you type in Xcode, you'll be able to find it and then simply download it. So let me show you how that works. So I've already got it installed, otherwise this would be an install button and when you click it, it'll just start downloading and um, it'll install it. Then afterwards, it will probably be right here. So another way to download Xcode if you don't have the Mac App Store is through Google. So just bring up your browser and search for it. And on the developer site of Apple, developer.apple.com slash Xcode, you'll be able to download it here for free. Click here, View Downloads. This button would otherwise bring you to the App Store, so click View Downloads. You'll have to sign in with a developer account if you have one. If you don't, you can register one for free. So I'm just going to sign in to show you guys. All right. so here it is Xcode 4.6.1 and you can download the image file alright so either either way install it from the Mac App Store or through this and when you open it you won't get this because this is a project uh, that's open already I'm gonna give you the source code and the link in the description and in the next episode we're going to go through the different parts of the interface of Xcode uh, if you don't want to download that source code you can just create a new project and it can be a single view application and then we'll move on from there hey guys so that was the first video quick and easy uh, from now on I'm gonna start doing something at the end of my videos and that's sharing a fun fact with you guys either about Apple iOS or programming in general so I've got the first one here let me read it out to you guys did you know that in 2011 Apple sold more iOS devices, 156 million of them, than all the Macs it had sold in 28 years, 122 million. So in one year, that's a lot of devices. I think I have, I have three myself. So do you guys have an iOS device? And if so, how many? And if you don't, why not? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll share the results with you guys in a future video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks. Bye.